Welcome to Zell. Today we have a new pupil. Hello, I'm Molly Mole. <laughs> I'm sure you will make her feel very welcome. Hello, Molly. Peppa and Rebecca, will you look after Molly, please? Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> Molly, have you ever played in a sand pit? It's good for building sand castles and digging. Do you mean like this? Wow! You're good at digging! Yes, I'm a mole. Moles are good at digging. <laughs> Parents have come to pick up the children. Home time, Rebecca! <laughs> Molly! Here is Mrs Mole. Hello, Mummy. Can my new friend Peppa come back to our house to play? Of course she can. Hello, Daddy. Can I go and play with my new friend Molly Mole? <laughs> Why not? I'll pick you up later. Peppa is going to Molly Mole's house. <laughs> this is my house. But this is Rebecca's house. Rebecca Rabbit <laughs> lives inside the hill. Hello again. Hello, Rebecca. Molly is my new neighbour. But where do you live, Molly? We've moved in underneath Rebecca's house. Squeak. Come and see. <laughs> Moles live deep underground. Our house is not finished yet. My daddy is still building it. Ah! Oh. Here is Mr Mole. He is very good at digging. How do you like your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy. <laughs> this is my new friend Peppa. Hello, Mr. Mole. Delighted to meet you. Daddy Pig has come to pick up Peppa. Today we have a new pupil, Emily Elephant. Hello, Hello Emily. Hello. Emily is a bit shy. Who would like to show Emily where to hang her coat? Me. me, me. me. Oh, we just need one. Peppa, can you show Emily where to hang her coat? Yes, Madam Gazelle. We each have our own coat hooks. This one is for you, Emily. Emily is hanging her coat on her very own coat hook. Now, Emily, what would you like to do today? Painting, clay or building blocks? Mm, I don't know. Maybe... Building blocks. And everyone else? Painting, clay or building blocks? Building blocks! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness! Building blocks are popular today. Everyone wants to sit next to Emily Elephant. Emily, you put one block on top of another. Like this. It's better if you put them side by side. <laughs> no, this way, Emily. Meow. This is the right way, Emily. Nay. No, Emily. Like this. You are all being very helpful. But, Emily, how would you play with the blocks? Um, I'm not very sure. I might do it like this. Wow. Emily Elephant is good at building blocks. It is playtime. <laughs> Emily, would you like to play outside with the others? Yes, please. Can someone show Emily where we play? <laughs> yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> At playtime, Peppa and her friends play in the school garden. Can't catch me. What a lot of noise. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall, so you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh, I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. Okay. 
One, two... While Peppa three, counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten! Ready or not, here I come! Found you, Gerald! <laughs> oh, you didn't find me! Or me! Or me! Or me! Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh! It's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <coughs> Let's play ball. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. To you, Danny. To you, Pedro. Pepper. Oh! The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. No, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down. No! no. I can get it with my trunk. <sighs> no, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. Let's check you've all got your gym kits on. Pedro is wearing a superhero costume. Pedro, where is your gym kit? It's at home. I thought it was dressing up day. Follow me, children. This is the gym where mummies and daddies come to exercise and enjoy themselves. Are you all having fun? Yes, yes. Lots, lots of fun. fun. Your gym teacher for today is Grumpy Rabbit. Where is he? Hello, children. Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Ah, 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 ah. Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you... You look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. Why, Madam Gazelle? I am going away. Oh. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Madam Gazelle. Pepper and George are home from playgroup. Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One. Two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madam Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madam Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is the day of Madam Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madam Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madam Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Or it wouldn't be a surprise. OK. 
I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the Rocking Gazelles. Hello, Rocking Gazelles. Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I was practising watching television last night. That's not a talent. Madame Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <coughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. <coughs> I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. <coughs> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> And what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping. But I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh, dear. Dancing was Peppa's last talent. It's a school day for Pepper and her friends. Aho, children. Today we will be learning all about numbers. Does anybody know what numbers are for? Are numbers for counting? Yes, Pepper. Who would like to do some counting now? Me, 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 me. me. Okay, Pedro. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pedro has counted to four. Well done, Pedro. Can anyone count higher than four? Me, me, me. Rebecca. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rebecca has counted to seven. Excellent, Rebecca. Madam Gazelle. Yes, Candy? My mum can count to ten. Wow. wow. Yes. After seven, there is eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Pepper all like to skip. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like ping. I like pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak! I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay. <laughs> Petro, do you want 
to do some skipping? No, thanks, Peppa. I'm hula hooping. Wibble wobble wibble. Children, today we have a special person coming to teach you basketball. Ooh. Hello. Daddy, it isn't home time yet. We've got a special teacher coming today. That's me. I'm the coach. A basketball teacher is called a coach. Ooh. That's clever, Daddy. Pepper, call me coach. OK, Daddy coach. Does anyone know how to play basketball? No. It's fun. You have to run, bounce the ball and throw it through the hoop. Easy. Oh. It is not as easy as it looks. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes, I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Danny. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. <laughs> now I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Mummy, can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Peppa. Peppa and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow. Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes. <coughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez le matin. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Ding, ding, ding. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? <laughs> How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. Ooh. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bingy, bong, bing, boo. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bingy, bong, bing, boo. Good. I have learned lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> <laughs> it is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts! Are you all right, Pepper? I've hurt my knee. <whistles> Madam Gazelle, Pepper has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Pepper. First, Madame Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes, thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. 
and today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Pepper and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> Children's ward! <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow! Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A carrot. And I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fight to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fate. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof! Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm! This all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course! We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of everything. Wonderful, Emily! How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> that was loud! That is the sound of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> Going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> The 
bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open-top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. First, let us meet the actors. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, for the sake of the actors, no photography, please. And now, our play begins. <laughs> Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? <laughs> On the big bad wolf. Well done, Danny! Um... Oh, dear. Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. Go in the cupboard. The big bad wolf is pretending to be Grandma. Ooh. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my Grandma. Bravo, Pepper. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops. Sorry, Pepper. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my grandma. <laughs> what big eyes do you have? <laughs> what big teeth do you have? <gasps> you are not grandma. You are the big bad wolf. Ooh. Help! Oh, help! <gasps> but look who is here. Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Help! Oh, help! Just in time, Pedro the Hunter. Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> I saved you, Grandma. Hooray! It is a school day. Pepper and her friends are having a music lesson. Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <coughs> oh, dear. Pedro has a cough. Not to worry. I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> What seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know, but it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, sometimes other people get that cough too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of 
flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Peppa, I'm never ill. <laughs> The train is going quickly downhill. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Do -da -dum -dum, da -de -da. Hey. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Half and puff, half and puff, the train runs on the track. <laughs> <laughs> A signal box. That's on our list. Hooray! The children tick the signal box on their activity sheets. The signal has stopped the train so that someone important can cross. Activity sheet. Hooray! <laughs> Last stop! Wall change! Everybody off now! But, Madam Gazelle, how are we going to get home? Oh, Peppa, we are back where we started. The train has gone in a big circle. <laughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pedro's lost his ticket again. Um... Pedro, can I have my hat back, please? There's Pedro's ticket! Oh, that's where I put it. Madam <laughs> <laughs> Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. Or the girls, please copy me. Now, boys! Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And... stop! <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time! May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. Sing the song of harmony together. Hooray! I like singing. So do I. Does everyone remember the words? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Lovely! 
And later, we will sing that for your mummies and daddies. It is playtime. Enjoy yourselves. Play nicely together. All the countries are playing in the playground. <laughs> the United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One, two, three. America, Russia, Spain and Greece are in the sandpit. I'm building a big sandcastle. Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sandpit. Why? Because you've had your turn. You can play on the slide now. But we want to play here. <laughs> oh, dear. There is not enough room in the sandpit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? It's our turn in the sandpit. But we were here first. Is Susie being a bit bossy? George started it. Leave George alone. He's only little. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's not right. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too. Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <coughs> yes, who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <clears throat> Tiddles the tortoise. <gasps> Dr. Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. That's not fair! It's your own pet! Oh, no! This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to Goldie the Fish. Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to the gecko. Hooray! Madam Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? Oh, oh, not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> <laughs> Skiing is fun. Let's go back up. Do it again. Whoa! Whoa! Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -huh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. La. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, 
Which Mummy or Daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. <coughs> I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain! My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast! Daddy can't keep up. <laughs> Wait for me. Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye-bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on. I've got wheels. Whee! Ha-ha! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. <laughs> brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Pepper and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> 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 that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy, Daddy, you brought our scooters. <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Ta It is almost Halloween, children, and we are going to have a pumpkin competition. Ooh! Have you all brought in your pumpkins? Yes! I grew my pumpkin from a seed. My mummy bought my pumpkin from the supermarket. I've got a pumpkin that's made out of plastic. I haven't got my pumpkin here because Grandpa is still growing it. Fine. Just remember to decorate your pumpkins and bring them back here for the competition tonight. <laughs> there will be prizes for everyone. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to collect Pepper. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Have you got my pumpkin for the competition tonight? Don't worry, Pepper. Your pumpkin is safe and sound in my greenhouse. Is my pumpkin big, Grandpa? Oh, yes. <laughs> This is Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa, it is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> now we cut out the face. <laughs> and we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> 
Now we put the pumpkin into the car. The pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> oh, there. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. So now I would like you all to imagine you are that tree, rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feel the wind in your branches and the sun on your leaves. You are a tree. Very good, children. I saw some lovely trees on mountain tops there. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make you think of? Remember to use your imaginations. I know. Pedro? Is the answer a cherry tree swaying on the top of a beautiful mountain? Hmm, but this music was quicker, wasn't it? A cherry tree swaying quickly? Danny? It reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. <laughs> this music has a very strong beat for stepping in time. Everyone, find something to bang from the music trolley. <laughs> Imagine you are in that band, marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvelous marching, children. Isn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr. Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs. Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, gazelle, wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr. Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? Oh, wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! 
We have cardboard and colored paper. <laughs> Crayons and paints. <laughs> Feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <laughs> no glitter. Please, Madam Gazelle. Please, Madam Gazelle. No. I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Now, begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> and my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> so, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. Madam Gazelle looks after the children at the playgroup. <laughs> Hello. This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> it's just a toy dinosaur. Grr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <laughs> dinosaur. Grr. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. Pepper is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. First you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George! That's the rock shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. Perfect. George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. Madam Gazelle, what will the future be like? What do you think it will be like? I think in the future I will live on the moon. <laughs> and all my friends will come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fly a space rocket. Hello! <laughs> Now we'll record a message for the people of the future. Say hello to the future. Hello to the future. <coughs> You're probably all living on the moon now. And going on holiday to Mars. And flying around in space rockets. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. <coughs> 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 
It is nearly home time and all the parents have arrived. Mummy, Daddy, we've made a time capsule. Ah, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole. Yes, of course. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Oh, it will remain in the ground for many years. Oh, but I can't wait that long. Pepper, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes mademoiselle. <laughs> <laughs> when your mummies and daddies were little, they made a time capsule too. Yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we dig it up? Yes. I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Pepper. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? Watch this, everybody. What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> no. It's a... Dinosaur. That's right. A dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Dinosaur. Now the bouncy castle. <laughs> Pepper loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. Everyone loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. This is the best school fate ever. <laughs> You must be young Pepper. I am Madame Gazelle. Hello, Madame. Oh, so sweet. Welcome to your first lesson of the ballet. <laughs> I'll pick you up later. Bye-bye. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Children, today we have a new pupil, Peppa Pig. Now, Peppa, run and join your friends. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Children, <laughs> we begin with Demi Plié. Demi plié. Now a little jump. Petit jeté. With grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. <laughs> the ballet lesson is a lot of fun. Raise 
your arms. Imagine that you are beautiful swans. And what noise do you think a swan might make? <laughs> Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Pepper is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Peppa, have you decided? Um. You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. Okay. I'm going to give. Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Pepper, you can't give away Mr. Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old Jack in a Box? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know, the television. Not the telly. No, it's too useful. Um... I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <laughs> <coughs> No, too smelly. <laughs> I know. Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.